That's why even Ben Stiller not apologizing for Tropic Thunder. Like I don't want, I don't have an issue with that because I never looked at them as trying to be black. What? Keep, keep going. I never thought they were trying to be yeah. black in Tropic Thunder. I, I thought they just had either. tans. Yes, and <laughs> I just <laughs> is that black. I, is, agree with I thought blackface is when you're pretending to be black. That's what the original minstrel show was. That's were. what he's doing in the movie. He's, in the movie, he's, he's playing he's, a black he's, man. He got black surgery guy. to look black, and then he's acting black. I never saw Tropic character. Thunder. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> never saw it. Clip it. <laughs> I never saw it. I never saw it. I never you saw Tropic Thunder. Clip it. I've never seen Tropic Thunder in my life. I actually thought it was Robert Downey Jr. that had the. It was. It was. Ben Stiller's yeah. movie. He directed it and was oh, like, he might have wrote it. You're, you're, you're a genius, bro. <laughs> Your ability to have an incredibly passionate opinion about something you know nothing about. I had no idea. Is, is so he was pretending to be black. We got to probably be a method let, actor. Let's yeah. just watch Basically, it. Basically, yeah, the character is like, oh, I'm a just method actor. Just let him watch it. Yeah, just let him watch it. Can we go to the beginning? Watch, retarded. Oh, go back. Now, see, go back. Because the, 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 the handicapped people, y'all got to get in on this too now. Everybody knows you never go full retard. So Yo, the, I've never seen Tropic Thunder. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen Tropic Thunder yeah, either, ever in my life. The Ben Stiller character played a, a character that was fully retarded. Oh, that guy right there was supposed to be... No, 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 no. In, in another movie. movie. Okay. Like that's the, the movie's about the making of a movie, yeah. and they're making fun of all these Hollywood tropes, really, like how far actors will go to like get into character and take roles from people who should actually play them. Oh, so, this makes, so it makes sense for Robert Downey Jr. to be playing a black man exactly. in the movie. Yes. Yeah. But people are still upset just because he is in blackface. Even though they're making fun of an actor that would wear blackface. I, I you know, I don't, I don't, you know. But Ben Stiller is like, I'm not going to apologize for a movie anymore. Why would you apologize for a movie that was, the, that was the kind of movie that it's supposed to be? It's, it's like Hollywood, Django. Bro. Like, no one makes Leo to, like, apologize for saying that word. It's, it's like, a period yeah. piece. Yeah. And his, it, well, his tweet, he said, I'd never apologize for making the movie. I think he apologized one time because of the retard stuff, because Sean White... The snowboarder, I, I think, went oh, uh, as like a simple Jack character for Halloween, and then that was kind of offensive. So he just apologized and was like, "Yo, oh God. no offense to Sean or whatever. I'll apologize to whoever was offended." But he never apologized for the blackface or even really the playing of that because it's the, it's all making fun of the industry, hmm. not making fun of the people, the minorities. It's making fun of the industry. It's making fun of, of actors that would go this far to get an award. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, the yeah. never go full retard thing is making fun of like we want to see people who we think are mentally. Who look mentally challenged, but not really. Like they would never hire an actual autistic person to play those roles. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. Yeah, but people are still upset because they don't want to think about the whole context of it. And then he said, someone said, some guy tweeted him, like, you need to stop apologizing for this movie. I loved it. And then he responded, he's like, I never apologize for the movie. I'm very proud of it. And just to be clear, we were making fun of the actors, not the industry, basically, yeah. long and short of it. Yeah. I'm just glad that Robert Downey Jr. came up. Because he came a long way from that shit to be Iron Man, bro. Yeah. This is after Iron Man. Tropic Thunder is after yeah, Iron he Man? Said, really? No. He said on an interview, I had done Iron Man, and then this movie came, and I knew it was tricky, but I trusted Ben Stiller. Something like I trusted his intention. I knew what he was trying to do. Yeah. So I was like, this could be fun. Let's do it. And he said in hindsight, I think he said something like in hindsight. I know he did Sherlock Holmes after Iron Man. Decision, but he, on his thing, he said, I had done the first Iron Man. There's a oh, quote no, of his. Oh, no, you're right. That shit came out a few months wow. after Iron Man. Oh, wow. Jesus Christ, Iron Man. Yeah, May, awesome. May 2008 was Iron Man. Tropic Thunder was August 2008. That's wow. ballsy, bro. Uh, I mean, not really. If the movie's already shot, and then they probably wasn't even going thinking about putting Tropic Thunder out until they saw the success of Iron Man. They're like, shit, let's throw this shit out. Robert that's Downey the other Jr. thing. Back. Like, Iron Man is, they don't know it's going to be a mega success. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, yeah, this yeah. is truly pre-cancel culture. Even though, like, you weren't supposed to do blackface. I think it was edgy, but people, I think, saw what he was trying to do back then. I don't then. think that's it blackface, though. Well, no, this, no, 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 I lie, I lie. That right there is actually blackface. Yeah. Because he's pretending to be a black character. Yeah. But a lot of the stuff that they said was, well, I'm lying. I was about to say stuff like, Chris Rock, when um, Fallon did Chris Rock, I don't know if that was, it, it, he's pretending to be Chris Rock, so I yeah. guess that is blackface, I guess. Uh, I guess. But I you're, you're referencing the minstrel show. Yeah, you're yeah, re yeah, referencing, yeah. And which is way different. Yeah. Than actually, than actually painting your skin black to look like a specific black person. I don't think you can win. Even if he didn't paint his skin black and still was pretending to be Chris Rock, I think he'd still get flack. I don't think so. You don't think so? I think I, I don't think so. If he if he like dressed like him and then did the accents or did the you know the act out yeah. and like did all the things. Frank Caliendo fun. pretends to be Charles Barkley. People don't. He just does the voice. I think yeah. I don't think he does the face. Mm. I don't think. 
And so people aren't offended by it. Yeah. yeah. It's just like the like raw history with minstrel shows. Anytime someone puts black on their body, people just tense up and go, oh, that's bad. Yeah. Even though if it like doesn't perfectly logically make sense, it's just because yeah. it's attached to such a traumatic history. People are just like, don't yeah. touch it. No, yeah. I get it. Even, yeah. Even though those characters are trying to make fun of black people in general. Right? Yeah, exactly. Whereas this is specifically being a black person or dressing up as Chris Rock as a black person or dressing up as Kobe and looking as a black person. When mm -hmm. Kimmel did Carl Malone. Kimmel did Carl Malone. But even right? with that, like I, and that, that's, I was thinking about that one, but it's like, yo, was he actually trying to do blackface? No, he's trying to do Carl Malone. Carl Malone. Face. You know which, what I mean? Which, which, look, there's the distinction. Like, if you're dressing up as, like, let's say, for example, you do a stereotypical black person outfit that isn't a person that we know. Yeah. That, to me, regardless if it's back in the day or now, you could be like, oh, this is blackface. You're just trying to use this as an opportunity to make fun of all the black stereotypes, right? Yeah. But if you're being Chris Rock or you're being Carl Malone or you're being something like that, you could show that there is a distinction there because you're going after one specific person, right? That being said, anybody triggered by blackface is going to be triggered by that as well. Yeah, technically it is blackface now that I think about well, it. Though. It's all blackface. Yeah, it's blackface because you're, it's a white person pretending to be a black person. And that's mm, yes. essentially what the minstrel show yeah. was. It was white well, no, it, actors. It, but it wasn't, they were pretending on. to be black people. They were pretending to be stereotypical the worst stereotypes yeah, yeah, of black yeah, yeah, people. Yeah, 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 but that's yeah, how yeah, they yeah, saw yeah, black people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Things are different, yeah. but they look similar. Yeah. So if, if you pretend to be the best stereotypes of a black person, is it still offensive? Depends. Mm. Depends. Like if you go as Oprah, is it offensive? You're going as a billionaire. What Oprah? Ooh. If you do 1900 Oprah, 1990s Oprah, and you put on like a fat suit, you know yeah. what I mean? And you know, you do your hair a certain way, that might come off kind of like, you know, you looking, you, you could look like you're making fun of her. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. It just depends what Oprah. Mm. And do you have to do the black skin to be Oprah? Mm. You know? I mean, it kind of helps. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Like, like is, Oprah is Oprah somebody that's defined by skin color? Is there a way to show people that I'm it Oprah? It clears it up. Like, if there's an Asian girl dressing as Oprah, it clears it up. Yeah, if, if, it, if you're a white girl dressing as Oprah, wait, it's just like a wig? Yeah. You just kind of look like the nanny, I think. Yeah. I guess you would have to wear, like, a signature Oprah outfit. Like, you'd have to wear Oprah when she revealed how skinny she was for the first time. Yeah. With the black shirt, the jeans. Like, the, no, people that's remember like, that. If you wear J-Lo's outfit from the, the MTV Awards or the yeah. Grammys, or whatever that one oh, was, yeah, that yeah, yeah, like, easy, like, we gonna know you, J-Lo. Easy, easy, yeah. easy. Absolutely. Hey, they need to bring back See, that boom. show with, um... Oh, I think when it was she dressed Ice Cube. like The Rock. <laughs> that's, no, for real. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, a, yeah. that's an iconic Oprah picture. You got to have the wagon with you. If you got the wagon with you, and the, I guess that's how much weight she lost in yeah. the wagon. Exactly. So everybody's going to know. Yeah. You remember yeah, that, that show sense. they used to swap the families? It was, right, that really, shit was crazy. That crazy. Was crazy. Different strokes? Oh. No, no, they no, were like. Black, much. They put white people in blackface. Yeah. And black people in whiteface. Oh, I don't remember that. And then the the wife and husband, they would just swap and then live with the other family for oh, like a week. Heard that that oh, wait, wait, wait yeah, you're talking about a different shows? show. You're talking there was about a, a show shows. where they actually painted yeah, white black people black and as white, black. where mm -hmm. like they make the families trade races and then live in societies of different races and then reflect on their experience. Yeah. Oh, that's the one I'm thinking about, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, yeah. Can I ask you a question? Swap. And somebody, no, had a, different. somebody had a joke about this, so I, I forget what it was, but it, it, the conception was really funny because they're like, uh, of course the white people who have the black face on are like, man, it's so hard being black, like people look at you crazy and it's like, yeah, because they're looking at you walk around the mall in blackface. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> they're not looking at you as a, a regular black person. person. Word up, like, word what up. fucking lunatic word is up. walking around? And, and nowadays, you got to think to yourself, okay, is that like war paint this person is wearing? Like, what is this guy about to do <laughs> yeah, yeah, in this happening? motherfucking mall? Like, for real. That's what I'm saying. Call you you really got to think about shit like that. <laughs> yeah. So why do y'all talk so long? <laughs> I'm just, I just want to know, like, I want to know, like, for like podcast purposes, like, what is it, like? It's you talk chilling. four and a half hours a day. Yeah, it's, chilling, it's a lot bro. of breaks in between that. Though. Like, <laughs> you need a break, you need to go pee. No, I, I'm just saying, I want to know, like, what is there, like, an algorithm thing? Like, is there a? Like, we like, just we just like hanging, man. Just hanging, yeah, 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 we don't, yeah. you know, we don't have children. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, we don't have uh, tons of businesses. That no, we have no, to look I'm just, I'm just asking. I'm just wondering, like, I'm like, what? Like, this is like, why? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering, like, I'm like... Because it's fun when you hang out with your friends yeah, and you're like, yeah, man, yeah, I gotta yeah. go home. Y'all yeah. don't wait even to go break home. this up in parts? Y'all just put this shit out like this? <laughs> Y'all just, just, just drop this shit like two-hour extravaganza? Yeah. Like, He's been waiting two hours to say this. Two yeah. hours? No, I, I didn't realize how long. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm looking at that clock. I'm like, is that how long we've been talking or is that the time? How long have we been talking? About that time. 
Wait, what? Where? It's about hours? an hour fifty-five. No, Two twenty-five. Damn, bro. God damn, yo. <laughs> <laughs> that is what they're gonna really think I'm on flagrant now. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ.